Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Welcome back AstroVenturers. If you're new to this Astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the Astrophotography channel for DSLR and mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Um, at the request of one of our viewers, and it was in the planning anyway, um, they asked that I do a video on using the ASI Air with a DSLR camera. Now in this particular video, I'm not going to go into using a guide scope. This is just the bare bones simple. You've purchased an ASI Air and you want to use some of its benefits with the lens and DSLR that you're using. So to walk you through the, the quick setup, initially the SkyGetter Pro was set up polar aligned to Polaris and I've moved my camera to the approximate location of where my target is going to be and now I'm ready to hook up the rest of it. The ASI Air does require 12 volt power and if you're at home as I happen to be today you can actually plug in to an outlet using a uh, power supply or as I do I bring a 12 volt, 12 volt automotive battery to the field and that's what I'm using for this example and so my first step is, is I'm going to uh, connect up the battery and then I'm going to plug in my ASI Air to the battery and then I am going to use my correct cable and in a recent video you'll know that I learned that D7100 uses a different uh, mini USB than my D600 does and I'm going to plug in my mini USB 8 pin into my Nikon D7100 and then over here, I'm going to plug into one of the available USB ports. Um, on the ASI Air, it offers USB 3 as well as USB 2. I've, I never fill up all of the ports, so I always use USB, T, USB 3. It's just a faster port. Now that I've got that all set up, I'm going to power up the ASI Air. And I'm waiting for a beep. There it is. That beep tells me that it's fully powered, it's ready, and it's broadcasting its Wi-Fi signal. From here, I will move to my cell phone, and I am going to turn on the ASI Air app and connect to the ASI Air. At this moment, I'm going to pause, and then I'm going to rejoin tonight once it's dark, and I can actually go through this process, do the quick alignment, and we will go ahead and finish the rest of the setup with the ASI Air app, and we are going to, pull, uh, excuse me, not polar line, we are going to locate the Bode's Galaxy that I failed to do the other day because I didn't have the right cable. So we'll see you in a few hours once it's dark. Hey there, Astro Venturers. So it's a clear sky now. I am going to go ahead and give you a quick refresher. We're polar aligned. ASI Air is powered up. It's broadcasting its Wi-Fi signal. And I have the camera with the correct cable connected to the ASI Air. And over to the side, which you can't see, I have my computer over there. And on my computer, I have the coordinates for where to locate the Bode's Galaxy in the night sky. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is fire up this ASI Air, the app. And as it turns on here, you'll notice on the screen it says service unconnected. Reason being is, is I do not have a Wi-Fi signal. Now I have intentionally not turned it on on my phone so you could see this. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And now it will connect. There it is. And it is connecting. Okay, now it's connected. Now, one of the things is, is that I'm going to go ahead and if you are doing this for the first time, I'm not sure what this default mount will show you, but you're going to want on-camera ST4. 
Now, I am not using a guide scope tonight, so with that, I will be using the main camera. The focal length that I'm shooting at tonight is 500 millimeters. So, this is already in here, but I'm going to re-enter it. Whoops, not 5,000. 500 millimeters is what I'm putting on. The second entry where it says 240, that's for my guide scope that I'm not using. So, main slash guide scope. Um, 500 millimeters for that main, which is the camera lens that I am shooting. I'm going to press done. Over here, it says main camera. Now, if I click this, I intentionally have the camera off. If you click this, it's showing you none. The reason being is, as I said, the camera is off. So I'm going to go ahead and power up the camera. And you'll notice on the screen that it just recognized it. Nikon DSC D7100. If it did not automatically populate, you could always click on that and then select it. So there we go, we have that. Over on the left hand side, you can see the latitude and longitude for where I'm shooting. And we are now ready to hit enter. Okay. Now, it says the mount is not connected. That's because of the fact that we are not using a go to. We're on that camera ST4. Over here on the side, we need to set up our exposure, and I am going to take a, uh, let's do a five second exposure, and let's see where we are. I'm going to press this button, it's going to trigger the camera. To which it did not. Okay. So, let's troubleshoot here. Now, the reason why it didn't, and I tried stopping the shoot, the reason why it did not, and I'm going through this intentionally so that you can see some of the troubleshooting, the reason why it did not is because my camera's autofocus on the lens is still on. So, in a moment, this will stop the process of trying to shoot because it can't, and it will kick back an error. Once it does that, I will then... Uh, shut off the autofocus capabilities of the camera and then retry this. As I said, I already know this causes a problem, but I wanted you to see this yourself so that you understood how to troubleshoot this in the night. Okay, there it is. Exposure failed. So I'm going to come over to my camera and I'm now going to shut off its autofocus capability. And we're going to come back to the camera again and, or excuse me, back to the app, and we're going to try this again. There, you probably heard the click of the camera. It's taking its 10-second photo, or excuse me, 5 seconds. Image format setting error. Only supports RAW. Correct and continue. So I'm going to click OK on that. So at this point here, what I suspect is going on is that I have the camera set up to shoot both RAW and JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera for a moment. Okay, it shows that the device is disconnect or device has changed. I'm going to disconnect the cable, go back into my camera, and I am now going to change what my camera is shooting so that it's only RAW. There we go. I'm going to reconnect. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. Turn the camera on. Tell it okay. Now, what I'm going to need to do is go back in here, main camera, D7100, reselect it. Okay, there we go. There. Now let's try this again. Here we go. We're going to check our exposure. We're going to move this up to two. Actually, let's take this up to five seconds. And let's try again. Okay, there's the click. We'll take a five second exposure. Okay, now this time I do not have the error, and you'll notice that it's saying loading in the bottom of the screen. Okay, it's loaded onto the phone. I'm going to tell it to plate solve. Okay, there it is. Now it gives me my uh, my right ascension and my deck. Now, right ascension. 
that is the way that your sky guider rotates. The deck is this rotation at the top that we do here. So we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments. So according to the coordinates that I'm looking for, I want a right ascension of 9 hours 55 minutes. And you can see that we are at 8 hours 8 minutes. So I'm going to make one adjustment at a time. So let's see here. I'm going to come over to the back of my Sky Guider Pro and I'm going to press the button on the back, slew the camera a little bit, and then I'm going to take this test shot again. Now from here I'm just going to press cancel and I am going to take this test shot again. Now I didn't move it very far and the reason being is I want to see if I'm moving in the right direction. Okay, so there's the shot. It's now loading. Okay, from here we're going to plate solve again. Okay, and it says 8 hours and 3 minutes. And honestly, I don't remember which way it was that I had went. Uh, let's see here. 8 hours, 3 minutes. I want to say that the previous was higher than that. So I'm going to try the other direction. And remember, 8 hours, 3 minutes. Let's try that again. Here we go. Cancel. Got to remember, 8 hours, 3 minutes. Wake my computer back up. Let's see here. Loading the image. And let's plate solve it. Okay, eight hours, eight minutes. Okay, so this time I'm going in the right direction. Got to move this again. Okay, cancel. Take the image again. Now, as you, um, if you're not recording a video, and as you get practiced at this, this goes much quicker than what it's taking me here, but this has been about troubleshooting and learning how to do this. So we're at 8 hours and 14 minutes. We're still trying to get to 9 hours and 55, so we still got quite a bit. So I'm going to make a rather large adjustment on this. Loading the image and plate solve. Okay, we are at 9 and at 9 hours 49 minutes. Now I'm going to slew because we're not that far off. Now while this next image is taking, I just want to say I am so completely actually, this is where we're going to take a momentary pause because apparently prior to doing this, I did not check my battery and the battery is dying. So <laughs> Like I said, first time doing this, this is the, the troubleshooting you got to go through. So, we'll take a momentary pause while I run in to go get a new battery. Don't go to the lobby. So, we're going to have to power this back up. Let's see, jump back in. Okay, main camera, D7100, turn that on. There we go. Okay. There we go. We are all set and we are back in business. Let's see here. Exposure. Two seconds. Problem is, is that I'm shooting a two second exposure and it's not long enough and having to restart everything it changed my settings of five that I was using and so I'm plain and simply not getting enough exposure for the ASI Air app to be able to identify everything. Okay let's try this now. Loading. There we go. Plate solve. Much better. Again this was some great uh, learning tonight. So we are at 956.50. Okay. And I'm going to hit cancel. And then I can also go over here to tools and I can click on annotate. 
and it tells me that I'm right next to NGC 2976. Now, we're close enough right now on the right ascension. So let's take a look here. We're going to plate solve this one more time and see where we are. Let's see our declination. We're at 67.10. And I need 69.57. Okay, so 67.10. And I've got to go up. Uh, up in number. So let's see here. What I'm going to do now is because I've got my right ascension taken care of. I now have to take care of declination, so that's going to be over here. So what I'm going to do is loosen this, and then I'm going to make a slight move and see what that does for me. So I'm at 67.10, and I've got to go higher. So I'm going to hit cancel. I'm going to reshoot. Is it 67.10? I'm trying to get higher, higher in numerical value. It's loading, plate solved, and I am at 69.52. Okay, so let's see here, and let's take a look. Whoops, I hit the plate solve. It's not what I wanted. Let's go into tools. Let's check annotate. There's the Cigar Galaxy, and there is Bodes. So from here, I can absolutely dial this in to get that last little bit. And this is what, because I didn't have the cabling the other day, this is why I ran into all the difficulties that I did, because I couldn't, um, I just couldn't locate. It was one of those nights I just couldn't find my target. And without having the proper cable, I couldn't do it. And so here we are. Right off the bat, show me Bode's Galaxy, there's Cigar Galaxy. And what is on my phone is actually showing me the, um, the view of my camera. And so from here, I could carefully dial this and tweak this and, and get it all centered up and composed the way that I want. Now, I'm not going to go any further with this simply because of the fact that, as I said, due to the falling temperature, my optics have changed. It's no longer in focus. And I think I've demonstrated, along with a whole bunch of troubleshooting, tonight as to how to figure out your problems and work through uh, getting your ASI Air uh, and camera on target. So until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.